Hi everyone, Steve Robinson here, in case we haven't met each other. Hey, by now, if you've been following along, you know that we have 49 moves in the program, and we take those 49 moves and we package those 49 moves into 10 six to eight week workshops. Okay, so 49 moves, we package them together into 10 six to eight week workshops, and guess what? going through the cycle once, we went through the cycle one time, we're back at workshop number one. And in workshop number one, the bully is gonna be approaching from the front. And today, we're just gonna do a little solo training. We don't have any of our uh, partners with us today, Ben or his sister, but uh, it's gonna be solo training today. And, and, and the cool thing is about martial arts is, if you have a partner to train with, that's great. If you don't have a partner to train with, you can still practice by yourself. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So, it's workshop one. Strategy one. It's called a cat stance front kick. Now, you also know that in this program, we focus on the bully who can sneak up from behind. Okay, can the bully approach from the side? Absolutely. Today, and for the next six to eight weeks, the bully's going to be approaching from the front. Okay? We've heard us talk about this several hundred times, if not more. Martial arts, whether it's karate, whether it's kung fu, whether it's judo, whether it's mixed martial arts, martial arts is not about fighting, okay? We say, if there's a bully around getting physical with you, you put your stop sign up and say, stop, get away from me, okay? Two, step two to dealing with the bully after you say stop is to get the person in charge. It could be the school teacher, it could be the soccer coach, it could be the Sunday school teacher, it could be your friend's parents. You get the person in charge. So let's just say the person in charge where this is happening, this bullying is happening, let's just say it's happening on the soccer field and your mom and dad are not around. Okay, who are you gonna get? Get the soccer coach, exactly, okay? So, you told the bully to stop. Two, you get the soccer coach, okay? But is the soccer coach the most important person you tell? Or is mom and dad the most important people you tell? Absolutely. You may tell the soccer coach first that somebody's bullying you. You may tell the school teacher first that somebody's bullying you, but the most important people you tell are mom and dad, okay? So, step one to dealing with the bully, stop, sign up, stop it, get away from me, okay? And it, it, it may or may not work. This, this martial arts stuff, karate, taekwondo, kung fu, it's not magic, okay? Two, after you tell the bully stop, what do you do? You get the person in charge, the soccer coach, school teacher. Mom and dad are the most important people, you tell. Step three is to have your parents help stick up for you. And then finally, that fourth and final step, and you talk to your parents about this, but that fourth and final step is to avoid, avoid, avoid fighting. And we do everything you can to avoid it, but we do say it is okay to protect yourself if you must. So, it's a really cool kick. It's strategy one of 49. It's a cat stance front kick. When you kick today, you're going to kick with the instep part of the foot where your shoelaces are or where your Velcro straps are. Now, before we start kicking, let's talk about some different types of stances. You know the horse stance. It makes you strong and stable from either side, okay? You know the cat stance. It doesn't make you strong and stable, but a cat stance puts most of your body weight on your back leg, let's say 80 or 90% of your body weight on your back leg, so you can pick up your front leg and not fall off balance like I just did. So the cat stance, 70, 80, 90% of your body weight is on your back leg, and you should be able to pick up your front leg, okay, so that you can kick real fast, all right? Now, cat stance front kick, it's a speed kick. It is not designed for power. If you throw the kick from your cat stance, ah, it's designed to be fast. 
If you throw the front kick from your guard stance, ah, it's designed to be powerful. Now, one other point before we break this up, break this apart. There are different parts of your foot that you can kick with. We're going to kick with the instep part of the foot, again, where your shoelaces or velcro straps are. You could also kick with the ball of your foot. If you use the ball of your foot, you have to kick above the waist. Kicking with the ball of the foot is more advanced. Kicking with the ball of the foot is going to give you more power. Okay? So it's just a, it's a different way to throw the front kick. When you kick with the instep part of the foot, you're kicking in between the legs and you're using a simple foot form. All you're going to do is have your toe, toes pointed down, not up. You're going to have your toes pointed down. So we're going to take this kick apart. We're going to start from the cat stance. So I have my left foot in front, so you want to put, let's put your right foot in front, okay? Put your right foot in front, act like you're looking in the mirror. <coughs> you put your hands below your chin for a couple reasons. One, to protect your upper body. Two, your hands are below your chin to help you balance. You don't want your hands in your pockets or you know behind your back. When you put your hands below your chin or in this guard position, it's gonna help you balance and it's gonna protect your body more. Alright? So Getting back to the cat stance, alrighty? The majority of your body weight is on your back leg. Why? So you can pick up the front leg. Now in a horse stance, guess what? You don't have the majority of your body weight on one leg or the other. You have 50% of your body weight on your right leg, 50% of your body weight on your left leg. So you're not gonna be able to be, pick, pick one leg up faster than the other, okay? So, you ready? Cat stance front kick. I know, I, I know I'm mumbling jumbling a little bit, but bear with me, stay with me, okay? It's a fun kick, it's a basic kick, and it's a very effective kick. So you're in your cat stance, knees are bent, hands below your chin for balance. Okay, step one, chamber your right knee waist level. And put it down, nice job. Let's do that a couple more times. Cat stance front kick. Bend both knees. Most of your body weight is on your back leg. Okay, most of your body weight should be on your left leg if you're kicking with your right leg. Keep the, your body weight. Keep all your body weight to the balls of your feet. That's why you want your knees bent. If you have your body weight, if your knees are straight and your body weight is back on your heels, it's going to be harder to balance. You want your body weight, you want your knees bent, and your body weight to the balls of your feet. So, step one, chamber your knee as we call it. Notice my toes are pointed straight down. Martial arts is said to help with balance, and it can. And put it down, good job. All right, let's do it one more time before we release the kick, okay? So, you're, I'm going to give you a side view. Cat stance, knees bent, all your body weight is to the, actually to the ball of your supporting leg, okay? You ready? Your knee is going to go waist level. Step one, chamber your knee, and put it down. Good. All right, we're going to release the kick now. But before we release the kick, you point your knee. To the target. For example, if you want to hit him in between your legs, you point your knee waist level. If you want to throw the kick head level, we discourage that, but if you want to throw the kick head level, how high do you chamber your knee? You chamber your knee head level. If you want to kick him in his in his knee, you chamber your knee knee level. So your knee points to the target. Whether it's to his knees, whether it's in between his legs, or whether you have to point your knee real high up to his head. Okay? Please watch. I'm in my cat stance. I'm going to throw the kick with the screen. Ah! And put my foot down. Notice I didn't just drop my knee. 
I kept my, I, I recalled my kick and I kept my knee chambered. Ah! Why? In case I need to throw a ah, second kick. Okay? So let's go ahead and throw the kick all at once. You're in your cat stance. You're kicking with your right leg. Hands below your chin. You ready? Kick. Ah! Good. After you kick and recoil, recoil means to pull that foot back, to recoil, to snap that foot, kick, kicking foot back. After you recoil your kick, keep your knee up there, let's say one 1,000, maybe two 1,000, and then push your foot down. Let's do it again, I'll do it with you. You ready? Uh, you, you keep your knee up there, like I said, to be able to kick your second time, but it's also challenging you to hold your balance. So your hands are below your chin, kick. Ah! One 1,000, two 1,000, and put that foot down. Nice job, let's do it one more time before we switch legs. Cat stance front kick is a kick designed for speed. You're in your cat stance, hands below your chin, kick. Ah! And put your foot down, good for you. All right, now you're gonna be asked to kick with the opposite leg this time. I'm gonna give you a side view, okay? So, knees are bent. All right, hands below your chin. Step one, chamber your knee. See if you can keep both knees, see if you can keep your supporting knee bent. Put it down, let's do it again. You ready? I kind of lost my balance that time. What I have found out, and I'm not trying to be silly about it, but the older we get, the more challenging it is to maintain balance and body control. When I was 20, it was, much, it was easy by comparison to maintain my balance. Now that I'm a lot older, it's more challenging, okay? All right, so the knees are bent. One, chamber your knee. Toes down, not up, point your toes down. Put it down, okay? Let's go ahead and kick and recoil this time. You ready? You're in your cat stance. And kick. Ah! Good. One down, two more to go. You ready? Cat stance front kick. It's a basic kick, but wow, 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 is it practical. It's fast. You ready? Kick. Ah! Let's do it one more time, everyone. You ready? And kick. Ah! Good for you. Well, there you have it. Strategy number one in workshop number one. Cat stance front kick. It is the cat stance front kick is a speed kick. It's designed to be fast. It's not designed to be powerful. You throw the kick in between the legs. Key to focus on in workshop number one. Very appropriate, I think. And this is with anything. The key to focus on in workshop one, as Robbie Sora says, is to practice, practice practice okay the bottom line is whether it's soccer or baseball or getting a, 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 a good grade on your math test you have to study you have to practice and that's what's going to get you good regardless of what you are doing karate math test soccer baseball whatever it is great job i'll see you next week we're going to go from the cat stance front kick designed for speed into the guard stance front kick, which is designed for power. And then you have options. You have one that's designed for speed, and you have one that's designed for power. See you next time, everyone. Great job.